I'll return back down to earth having learned what love is worth will I burn or burst I must have been dreaming still I'm beaming smiling from ear to ear and if I was dreaming then why is she still here Hello everyone, hello from Courchevel. We have just arrived at the Six Senses residences in Courchevel for a one day ski trip. Literally the briefest thing ever. I'm so, so excited though, because after our trip to Majeb last year for a little bit of Apre ski, um, I have wanted to come back to the snow so badly. I've never actually skied before. So tomorrow is gonna be like my first time and it's gonna be really nice because it's just a day to kind of test out to see if I actually like it. Cause I know the idea of it all is very, very nice the apres ski is fabulous but the reality of skiing i'm not sure if it's going to be for me because i'm like the anti-sporty i'm the least sporty person in the world so i'm excited to see and if it goes well i may end up booking a proper long ski trip so we just got to the hotel so we're just going to go in check in check out our room um the sun's just going down it was like a two and a half hour drive from geneva airport um because we're way up in the mountains 1850 i think we are so we're like the highest point you can get um, and I'm just so so excited. It's amazing to be back in the snow I'm wearing my Hollister puffer jacket from my video last week and my little cashmere roll neck So I'm nice and cozy and just raring to get out into the snow So luckily next to our hotel is the ski service where we can hire our skis our ski boots our helmets and everything So we're gonna go inside now and just get all sorted out and fitted. We're just trying on our ski boots Josie has little <laughs> baby blue ones because <laughs> she has small feet so guys we've just had a little walk into the village before it gets too dark and too cold and it's really really cool like it's so different to Majev from last year it's very kind of like cosmopolitan the bottom of the slopes is just surrounded by like shops and cafes and restaurants there's like screens everywhere and it's just really really busy so it's definitely a different vibe um but it's really really cool and very like high-end like there's a Dior over there and a Louis Vuitton so I really like the vibe of the town um and I just really can't wait to get out here tomorrow although it looks terrifying I'm not gonna lie I think that's more my standard of sport to be honest I think I should go for that <laughs> I'm just saying I think I should that's more my level <laughs> the moon boots are keeping me nice and toasty so beautiful. So serene as well. There's no background noise. I grabbed them off the dryer this morning thinking it was two gloves. But it's a glove and a cashmere sock. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was five in the morning and I just grabbed Show them off me. the dryer. <laughs> so oh annoyed. my gosh. What a moron. <laughs> you got giant dog turd. Delightful. <laughs> Providing the comedy app. <laughs> Mind the poo. <laughs> I can't breathe. I can't breathe. <laughs> now I don't know what's a poo and what's a, <laughs> what's a pine cone. So far, I think we've had far too much amusement <laughs> coming down this little set of stairs. Oh there God. was much more fun to be had down here than we realised. Um, so oh always, God. always go off the beaten track. You never know what you're gonna find. You might find a dirty dog. <laughs> we just came across the most beautiful shop in the world. I think it's called Max and Moi. Everything is incredible. The only sad thing is, it's real fur. So yeah, I wouldn't buy real fur, obviously. But look at this. I can't. I actually can't. Oh my God. And everything's incredible. Literally everything. Do you want to bring it to your hotel or is it okay? Look at this pink yeah, and great okay. stuff! I love these bottoms. This. If only that was not fur. If that was not fur, I'm telling you, I'd buy it in a second. Look how incredible. And then there's another one as well. Look at this stuff! No, I'm not okay. I'm not. This is my favourite shop in the world. Apart from the fur. <laughs> So guys, we just got back to our room, which is actually an apartment 
it's huge. Um, so I'll just give you a little tour. This is the little like double bunk room, which I don't think we'll be using. Uh, you come through here and here is one of the bedrooms, which is pretty big with a bathroom. Through here, here are our suitcases. Then there's another bedroom in here. Different bathroom here. Really good if you're coming with a group. And then like this huge living area. Our helmets are down there. Kitchen. We're having a chocolate shot. So it's absolutely gorgeous. What a nice little home for a couple of days. And then in the bathroom we have all of these organic pharmacy products. So we're actually here courtesy of um, the organic pharmacy because they are the products of the spa here which is very exciting and I don't know anything about the brand like at all so um, I'll look forward to trying these out tonight so here is our starter it's a little vegetable soup in a bread roll with a beret Bonsoir. <laughs> it's a cheese lovers galore. A fondue over here. Raclette. Over here. Meats. Oh, France isn't the best place for a girl that doesn't like meat or cheese. <laughs> What do they say, Josie? Small willies. <laughs> Good morning from Courchevel. Look at that view. It's sunrise. Good morning, everyone. It's happening. It's happening. Skiing is happening. I'm scared. <laughs> but I'm really, really excited as well. So I've got the full Topshop ski outfit. So it's this really nice like thermal body and I also have a thermal on. Underneath, the gorgeous gilet, the trousers, they're actually salopettes. They are actually proper ones. And of course, my sorrel boots, but we have the actual ski boots coming up just now. And then I just picked up these gloves from the little ski shop by the hotel. And of course, a helmet. So I'm all ready to go. I'm very, very excited, although I am quite nervous. <laughs> oh, these boots, I'm so glad I could reprise the boots. They really are the best boots ever, aren't they? They're so frozen. Oh. Up we go. going well ish ish <laughs> so we're just in the middle of a lesson on the little nursery slope oh no okay <laughs> can someone help him oh bless i don't want to help him i feel so bad this boy just fell over but i don't want to help him because i'm probably just gonna make it worse when you get done your hip facing to me okay and open both knees yes okay guys so I'm a couple of hours in and I have to say I love it so much it's honestly the most fun it's just amazing um i wish that it just wasn't for one day i would love to stay here and ski all week she stepped floating on air and i leapt straight out of my chair almost wept i swear i must have been dreaming if I'm sleeping, don't wake me up now Let me linger and meet her somehow She glides across the room like a bride Without a groom if I tried 
Would she assume I'd been drinking? Too much thinking won't do me no good. Bells are ringing. You can do it, Jack. Telling me that I should. <laughs> Now we fly wow. without a care. Say goodbye. Okay. To the folks down there, ask me why. <laughs> Thank you. So we just got to the bottom and we're back into the village where we were last night. So incredible. I couldn't even see those mountains yesterday. Did she end up down there rather than I'm down literally here? shaking. So if you can see, my hands are shaking. Oh that was God, scary. Woo, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So I'm reunited with the pros here. We stopped for some lunch and a hot chuck. Flash off. Oh my god, this is so needed. I'm so tired. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's exhausting. But it was so much fun. I think now we're just gonna go back to the hotel and have a relaxing afternoon in the spa. So we've come to the spa, and I'm not just saying it, this is probably one of the nicest like spa pool areas I've ever ever seen. It's so beautiful, it's huge. There is an amazing outdoor hot tub in the snow, which we'll be definitely making use of saunas and everything um, so I'll show you in a minute but then we also have massages and facials I'm having a massage Joseph's is having a facial at 4 30 and um, it's so a couple of hours just to chill and warm up because I'm really really cold um, and just relax because that was the most exhausting thing honestly so here is the pool it's so big it's beautiful and then outside so we are in the hot tub and it's just started a full-on snowing like really 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 snowing <laughs> i think we actually need to get out because it's really intense but how magical Ooh. hi everyone if you can hear any noise in the background josie's watching love island <laughs> 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 So I just wanted to check in because I kind of forgot to vlog earlier. It was all a bit of a mad rush. Um, so I had the massage, which was not what I was expecting. I'm just going to say that. I thought it was going to be a nice relaxing massage over, uh, after a day of skiing, you know, relaxing all the muscles. No, it was a detox. Like, think like lymphatic massage, but like she said, no, lymphatic is just the surface. That's water retention. We're going deep into your leg and it's like anti-cellulite it's all of these things basically toning tightening blah 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 it was like being in a torture chamber and i say that in the best way i've never felt anything like that it was phenomenal and when i get home i'm booking another one in london because they have organic pharmacy spas all over london and it was just amazing and my legs afterwards my thighs were so like toned and like firm um, and just felt so, so good. Although now I'm kind of like aching a bit, but I think that's from this morning skiing. Um, but it was just incredible. So then we came upstairs, had showers, and went down to dinner. Josie, what's the restaurant called? Sumasan. Sumasan? Yeah. Which is a Japanese restaurant, which is quite high end. There's a few around the world, like London and Dubai. <clears throat> My voice is going. Um, and it's a Japanese restaurant. I have to say, the best meal I've had in ages. Like last night, French food. I'm sorry if you're French. It's just not for me. Japanese food. Every single dish that came out was perfection. They had this aubergine. <gasps> Oh my god, I forgot to take any videos, but they had the best vegetarian sushi that I've ever tried because normally I feel like vegetarian sushi is always like a bit of a fail because it's like an afterthought. This was amazing. The desserts, oh, everything. We're just going to head to bed now. It's only half ten, but we're absolutely shattered. Um, and we want to get up nice and early to get another few hours on the slopes tomorrow before we have to go home. Um, luckily we're not flying, we don't have to leave the hotel, uh, leave the resort until like 3.30pm so we have all morning to ski and then we can come back and maybe relax in the spa for an hour before we get on the plane. Um, so yeah, see you guys tomorrow night! Good morning everyone, it's our third and final day here in Courchevel. It's been snowing consistently like from 4pm yesterday the early hours of the morning and we stepped outside our hotel and it's like a different place. I didn't realize like the lack of snow um, and now everything looks 
so magical. There's snow everywhere and it's so beautiful. The most amazing day as well. Bright blue sky, which is so great because the forecast was not great. We've been so, so lucky. Um, so we're gonna take a little walk just around the village and you know, just explore a little bit. And then, fingers crossed, we are gonna get to go skiing for a couple of hours as well um, this morning before we have to head back this afternoon. Um, but I'm just gonna show you the outside. It's so pretty. Look at this little winter wonderland. Oh, it's so pretty. I've got my fantastic sorrel boots on, my Topshop uh, faux leather leggings, and my Topshop uh, faux shearling jacket, and my little Hollister Alpine jumper, and I've got some thermal layers on too, and my little pochette Matisse. I must have been dreaming, still I'm beaming, smiling from ear to ear. If I was dreaming, then why is she still here? So we've got our ski stuff on and we are just taking the Six Senses car to the lodge to get our equipment. Oh my god, it looks ten times more beautiful after the snow <laughs> than it did yesterday. Wow. Woo! This is literally the perfect weather. It's the best fresh snow, blue sky, absolute perfection. I can't wait, but I am with Josie today who is much more advanced than me, with no instructor, although she is actually qualified to teach. So basically Josie's gonna be my instructor this morning. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. So this is the adorable little Six Senses Lodge where we get our skis and our boots on. So we're all ready to go. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonder? Oh my god, that looks so freaking cute! Oh, gorgeous! Yay! Oh, this is so cool! <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing! Wow! <laughs> gorgeous! Panning. <laughs> you're getting good. Thank you. You're a good teacher. Oh, thank you, darling. The difference between just the beginning and now. Really? Yeah. So we've learned that we've got to put our weight forward in our skis. And keeping, like, only opening up really from the knee down. Yep. Rather than yep. giving birth. And where is your weight? Pardon? Where should your weight be? Very much forwards. Mm -hmm. uh, but also, if you're trying to sort of slow down or do a turn on the lower leg. Yes. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Okay, we do some more. We go. So I finished my first lesson with Miss Josie. She is a very good teacher and I knew she would be, but what can't she do, hey? Oh, <laughs> um, but yeah, it was. I was really scared at first um, because this is just like a lot bigger than the slope that we were on yesterday when we were just having our baby baby lessons. Um, although this is still a baby. <laughs> this is still a baby to Josie, but to me it was quite big. But towards the end, I started to get more confident. So we're just back up at the top, gonna yeah. head down again um, and hopefully see some improvement. <laughs> you have improved so much since Aww. the last slope. <laughs> Thank you. Pro skier by the end of the week. Woo! <laughs> We've stopped on the stair on the chairlift, stairlift. <laughs> I just had an accident. I think I've broken my leg. No, you haven't! Oh my god, well it's better to like try and fall than not try at all, right? Absolutely. Right, guys, right. <laughs> I'll just keep on getting back up. I just fall down. Uh -huh, she gets up again. <laughs> what doesn't kill me makes me stronger. Let's get a little faster. <laughs> this is amazing. So, we found this such a lovely chap who's a photographer who's taking some snaps of us, and now Freddie's getting a free lesson. Such a legend. Look at this. 
This is what you call hands-on ski teaching. <laughs> Oh dear, she's lost control. <laughs> you did it! Thank you! <laughs> oh my god. There she comes. Oh my god. So our day of skiing is over. I am just <laughs> I'm so like exhilarated but like I'm kind of I'm ready now to stop. <laughs> I am a beginner after all but Josie was a great teacher, felt very safe in her hands even if we did pick up a spare extra teacher along the way um, but definitely like a morning is enough like now I'm exhausted and I've kind of hurt my knee so I hope that's okay um, but we're gonna just rush back to the hotel now, pack up our suitcase and head home but it's been such an amazing little adventure in the snow. <laughs> back at the airport safely big thanks to slope style private luxury transfers just want to give them a shout out because the car ride was so amazing it was two and a half hours which could be so vile thank you so much bye <laughs> so we're just sadly about to head home my leg is really hurting so i hope it's okay but i really hope you guys enjoyed the vlog bye or burst I must have been dreaming Still I'm beaming Smiling from ear to ear If I was dreaming Then why is she still here?